Hi, this is Dodge and Fusky. Uh, hey. Tutorial number four. Oh. I have to apologise a little bit in advance. We've been to the Dubstep Awards last night, as you can probably tell, <laughs> and uh, I haven't slept a lot. So if we're a bit slower, uh, it's uh, that's yeah. why. It's Dubstep's uh, fault. Exactly. Dubstep made me look like this. <laughs> uh, so it's cool. We're going to try and soldier on. Hey. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Do the tutorial. So today we're doing oh, research. Cool. Well, I say we. Chris is pretty much doing it. I'm gonna stand here like a prick for the next ten minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna pick a preset sound that I made a little while ago, and just go over it. Um, obviously, it's gonna be relatively brief due to the YouTube time constraints as ever. But hopefully, um, through going through this sound, you might pick up a few ideas on um, how to go about this style of noise. Um, and at the end of the video. Uh, yeah, we're going to be giving away a preset. Yeah, we'll be giving away, not necessarily at the end of the video. I mean, you could get it at the beginning, technically. So, yeah. Anyway, enough bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's crack on. Yeah. Um, obviously, the sound, as usual, is massive. Um, this, I will admit now, is mostly um, been made through trial and error. This is a lot of messing around. Um, so, you know, there's certain points of here where I will. Be showing you bits that even I don't particularly understand. So you yeah, know, it's exactly. I mean, basically, I don't think I could exact. I could tell you what ring modulation means. I mean, frankly, I don't have a fucking clue. Yeah. But I know what it sounds like, and that's more important. And this is what we're trying to convey: is that um, it's so important to just experiment. So we're going to kind of show you how we've made some noises, and you can try and copy it. And you know, hopefully, when you're doing it, you won't quite copy it exactly the same, and you'll come up with something a bit different. So. Yeah, because you, you can mess around with what's there, and then exactly. yeah, come up with your own thing. But anyway, yeah, this I mean this noise has been paced in a couple of tunes across, you know, the past year or so. Yeah, so. aerophobia and shit like that. We yeah. do Reese's in case we've got to mention that. Um, I can't actually remember if we said that yet. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and this is the sound in its rawest form with no external processing at all. And this goes back to something you said in a previous tutorial about getting a as good a sound as possible before you yeah, stick getting, anything get, onto it. Getting get out the sim for, before you distort or yeah. compress, EQ, any of that shit. So, here we go. Um, I'll just play the noise to begin with. Um, so you can get an idea of what sort of sound we're talking about. Hopefully we're, you're going to be able to hear it. There you go. It's a sort of standard Reese type noise. So yeah. we are. Um, right, where to begin? Basically, you can see here I've been uh, using, oh, in fact, that's supposed to be turned on, so that's not <laughs> <laughs> Um, that doesn't actually have a lot, it's just a bit of internal yeah, harmonics. harmonics, yeah, exactly. Um, so here we go. Two oscillators. Um, the business is coming from this bit here. Um, and the wavetable is called Lunacy. Um, now, what I'm going to do is basically turn everything off and play you that oscillator without any effects or anything on top of it. So uh, it's a relatively busy, complex uh, sound. So, I mean, I'll just go through all of these, turn off the EQ, those inserts. The built-in EQ now, when yeah, we're yeah. it's not like any other. Both approach, filters, uh, the feedback, the noise, and the ring mod. Oh, it's actually the mod some other modulation. And the second oscillator, and you might need to turn this up, but yeah. you get an idea of how I mean, that's that's where it begins, and you wouldn't believe that that would now turn into the sound. That sa it's kind of like the sound that Schism makes when he's snoring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so right. So basically, first things first. It's again, like I said, I don't really know much about this section here. I just know that it does what it does, and it makes things sound cool if you use it properly. Um, the Reese kind of that. That style, I think that's what's giving the Reese its um, particular character when you apply movement. movement yeah. yeah. So I'll turn on the mod oscillator, and I'll first of all, it's the phase one here, and immediately, like, like I've done pretty much nothing, I've clicked a button, yeah. and uh, you can see here with the phase one, I've set it to the relevant oscillator, which in this case is oscillator three, so the phase to three, and then obviously you need to find the sweet spot with the phase control because I mean yeah, yeah, that sounds terrible and then, and then 
there you go, and you yeah, kind of found a sweet spot. Starting to come together. Um, the position also, um, again, I'm not entirely sure what it does. I just know that if you turn it on and set it to <laughs> very, very subtle changes in the sound, but there is a certain sweet spot with that. Um, and then we go, I mean, next I could probably go into the filters actually. Um, now, here you can see I've applied envelope one to uh, filter one here, which is set on double notch. Now, notch filtering is a very sort of Reese friendly style of filter whereby it scoops uh, the sound in a couple of places and, like, if you think about it, it takes kind of frequencies out. Yeah, like a notch is a notch, basically. So, yeah. um, and that will sweep through the particular frequencies. Um, with this small envelope. Again, it's a very subtle thing and it's more trial than error than anything right. else. So I know we're kind of rushing through this a little bit, but it's due to time constraints and as we said before, we'll be giving this patch away so you can download it and put it into Massive and you can just kind of reverse engineer yeah. it and kind of see Play how around. we've done it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be, to be honest, it's, it, there's no really particularly easy way to explain this because re making Reese's is kind of a bit of a not exact science. It's not like a wow, wow, wow noise where we could just say, put the filter here, put an envelope yeah. there. It is about using your ears, like, using yeah. your ears and finding what sounds good. So, um, yeah, that filter there, and I oh, might as well turn them both on. Um, and it's actually it sort of made the sound a bit thinner, but this is when I then went in and added some other bits to it. Um, which was the, this oscillator here, which I'll actually solo that so you can hear it. It just adds some very um, subtle... It's just like an extra tone to the sound, so in combination. And then uh, went into... The noise is quite a handy one. Um, it's quite top at the moment, so in fact I'll put on the EQ that I used to, to bring the top end down. Tamed it a bit, but then adding the noise back in again. This is um, it's got a few ones you can select here. I quite like this metallic one because it gives it a very sort of you can might be able to hear that, might not. It's got a sort of a just a sort of what's well, a noise essentially, very, um, very eloquently put. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then feedback again that adds more depth to the sound. If you overuse it, it can sound fucking horrible. Whoa! So, yeah, so don't overuse the <laughs> feedback because it can sound terrible. Um, an insert here set on um, Sign Shaper, which is just a sort of a style of sort of distortion, I guess. It's a wave shape. Should but. probably point out at this point, these aren't necessary parts. This is just what he's what doing. What I did, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, don't, you can skip half of this shit, you know, these are just kind of yeah. potential. So that's been put in there, um, and then and then I added some tube distortion on the effects one. It's kind of set halfway on the drive and half on dret Y. Dret Y? <laughs> dry <laughs> wet. <laughs> uh, and obviously a bit of the dimension expander always helps to yeah. widen the sound. Uh, just while we're on the dimension expander, I pretty much... I'm speaking for myself here, but I pretty much put that on everything I ever make yeah. in Massive. It just makes everything sound better. It just gives it width. I use it to uh, slightly, like you can see here, the actual size of the expander has been set to a very minimum kind of amount. And pretty much that's built the sound. And I think, as you can probably see, the main bit of the sound was just through the modulation oscillator before I added any of this stuff on the top. All of this is to try and give make more subtle character fun. to it and like yeah just make it into a bit more of a unique sound um but yeah i mean you could pretty much roll with the first very first thing that i did so i think i just probably got a bit bored and wanted to add some extra bits to it to be honest yeah um and yeah and other than that we've got like i said the envelope going to the filters just to give it a slight the initial hit it's it. all about movement the thing with reese's is they're kind of a static sound it's not like it goes wow 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 and has a kind of real rhythm to it it's just this kind of like almost like a paddy kind of bassy mm. noise. So th the key with Reese's is like having lots of slight, like portamento sounds good, uh, in other words, sliding between notes like and like yeah, well, I can stuff. quickly show that actually, that's a good point. Um, here on the oscillator tab, or actually firstly on the voicing tab, um, you set the this one to monophonic here, and what that does is it just means that you can play one note at a time, yeah, monophonic. Yeah, like chords, standard um, And then on the oscillator tab, this is your glide control here, and this will 
basically time is the amount of time it takes from it to one yeah. to slide yeah. down up to the other. So you can yeah. hear here, if I set it to zero, it's instant. And then if you set it to where I had it, and obviously you can take it yeah. to an extreme, which... You know, like, yeah. And you can get cool effects. And, then, yeah. and using things like filtering, automate, and that's really good. So you can get a kind of... Yeah, yeah. Again, right, that's the thing with these filters here, they're adding more kind of characters as opposed to actually doing a whole lot else. Externally, this is where an external processing would come in, yeah. and this is where I would personally go to something like Camel Fat. Camel Audio Camel Fat is a very good one for that. That has, um, in fact, another notch filter. Notch filtering is very good for Reese's, like I said before. Yeah. And that, um, you'll apply that, and that can, you just mess around with a notch filter on that, and that will give you those sort of swoops. And if you think, the way I see it, is if I'm going from a high note to a low note, kind of thing, I kind of get the notch to follow that, if you see what I mean, so the yeah. notch frequency starts high with the high note and goes, so it gives that the frequency swoop as the notes go If you're down. confused and don't know what the fuck he's on about, go listen to Aerophobia and you'll kind of see yeah, yeah. what we mean, These which, comes, which uh, coincidentally is out on the new uh, UKF 2011 compilation CD, so uh, go and buy that. Shameless bug. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so I mean that's kind of it really, I guess. Yes. Um, I mean that was pretty like a pretty rushed explanation to a sound that even I don't particularly have much understanding of. Yeah. So, but I mean hopefully you got the general gist. Yeah. And we'll, like I say, have a look in the description below the video. Mm -hmm. There will be a download link to this. Yeah. This uh, patch here for massive. Oh, there was something I was going to say, and I can't remember what the fuck it was. So keep talking. I'll see if I can remember it. Keep talking. All right. Um, um, so I guess um, other stuff. This, this is what happens when you don't have a script. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess, I guess that's it. Make sure you subscribe, really, um, to, this, to these tutorials. Um, obviously, the reason, those of you that follow us on Facebook, uh, there is a reason that I'm dressed kind of like an imitation discount soldier. Um, so for you know the standard audience participation, please do vote on the next round of what should Dodge wear for the next tutorial, which is obviously the cutting edge <laughs> of crowd interaction. Um, yeah, and um, click here to subscribe to our tutorials and um, usual bullshit. We're gonna have like a tour video coming out soon of loads of stuff. So if any of you have been to gigs recently and see me pointing a camera in your face, uh, you'll probably be in the, uh, the next UKF upload tune which is Python which if coming out uh, on UKF kind of early December or in the past if it's past early December 2011. Yeah, so yeah cool. Um, as usual send us your feedback on Twitter all that kind of stuff. We haven't quite decided what we're going to do for the next topic of the next tutorial yet so um, feel free to send us any suggestions over Facebook and uh, we will see you next month. Thanks for watching. Cheers.